Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. I have three of what I consider the forerunners of the glory of God that for years have been operating in the glory, and I have asked them to team up together, and I believe there will be a synergy of release of miracles like we have never seen before in this show now. <laughs> now, my first guest, David Herzog, carries the ability to release the glory of God and for miracles to take place. And as a matter of fact, uh, I guess I'd have to say some of the wildest miracles that I've ever seen with my own eyes have taken place in the glory that you release. But for starters, David, how would you, what, what is the glory? The glory is like if you went to heaven, what would you be sensing, feeling, seeing? It's the total manifest presence of God, heaven on earth. It's the highest you could get in God. Tell us a few of the things that you have seen take place in the glory. It's like if you went to heaven right now, and even if you had a cancer, you immediately would be healed because of, of the glory. So if, when that glory comes here, we see amazing things. Even in heaven, I believe if you're bald, you probably have hair when you're back up in heaven. I'm going. <laughs> and, and we've seen bald heads growing hair because God's a creator. We've seen tattoos disappear off people. Uh, recently in Jerusalem, we had people growing taller. I can attest, I was at one of David's meetings, and there's a woman with gray hair. It was beautiful gray hair and seated right in front of me. And while I'm watching, it turns brown. I'm, so, oh. I'm serious. A number of years ago, you were what most young believers would be ecstatic over. Uh, he, he's in France. He's having revival meetings. He's having signs and miracles happen. But there was kind of a discontent. What was going on inside? Well, I had a six-month revival breakout in Paris, France, mm -hmm. 1998. But I felt like it was good. It was mostly anointing and God was healing and delivering. But I felt there was another dimension of God's glory that I just didn't have. I just, I was preaching. and I'd feel okay after. But I just, that feeling like there's got to be more. And I read the Bible, Peter Shadow healing the sick, the glory cloud that Moses saw. So I felt like I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing some things. And I realized I was seeing a little bit of Acts chapter 2, but, you know, they went out, healed the sick, but Acts 4, whole different thing. And suddenly I just start seeking his face. I quit meetings. I quit speaking. I pulled out of the revival. I was so hungry, which sounds crazy. And I knew there was more. And after a few months of seeking God, something new came and a whole new revival in my own life happened of the glory and that just changed our whole ministry. Well, you, you went to a meeting of a friend of mine who's now in heaven. Her name was Ruth Heflin. Um, what happened at that meeting? Ruth Heflin was an amazing woman of God. I had heard about her, had read her books. In fact, reading her books convinced me to pull out of the revival to see God. And after it was over the six months, she invites me to come to her camp. So I thought to attend. So I just went to attend. I was excited to go. I needed something new. And I get there and she says, you're speaking tonight. And I said, no, I'm not. I don't want to hear myself speak. I'm, I want something fresh. I'm a prophetess, she said. You're speaking tonight. I go, no, I'm not. And she goes, yes, you are. And then she had that laugh, ha, 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 that laugh she had. And so I thought, all right, I, I, it's not what I came for. So I just, I didn't feel any, I got up, okay, I'm going to preach. And, it, the, and she sits there, like she always did. Yeah. And she knew, and she saw the angels and the glory hit me. I sang my sermon. I don't do that. 
I went, arise and shine for the light. I was like, what is going on here? It was like I was looking at myself going, what are you doing? I was completely wasted. And for two hours, I, I sang the whole Isaiah 60, 61. Signs of wonder start falling. Gold teeth, gold dust, miracles. There were tumors disappearing. There were healings, deliverances. And I had gold all over me. And I said, what is going on? But it wasn't about the signs. I got back to my room and I felt like I had died and gone to heaven. The glory was so thick. And I thought, oh, maybe tomorrow it'll lift. It never lifted. Three days, a week, a month. It was like I got saved again. Like, it was just like, wow. Every day it was just like, oh, you're here. It had nothing to do with ministry anymore. I was in a whole new experience with God. I didn't even know it existed. I thought I knew the anointing and mm -hmm. you preach, you pray, you read your Bible, you, you, know, you do your thing. It was a whole different thing. It was a new lifestyle with God. I didn't care anymore about if I preached or ministered or didn't, if I was known or unknown, I didn't care about anything. I just wanted to keep that presence close to me. If someone isn't and they're being honest, they say, I love God, but I'm not desperate. What do we do? Uh, what you do is you say, God, help me in my not being desperate. Kind of like Thomas said, you know, I have unbelief. Okay, help me in my unbelief. So if you be honest, God, I want to be more hungry. And there's times in my life where I wasn't as hungry as I should be. And I'd see others and I'd say, God, make me desperate like that person. And I would get hungry again. So ask and you shall receive. Very simple. And you know what? But you have the impartation. You have the prayer. Uh, would you look in the camera and lead people in that prayer? I'm going to say right along with you. Yeah, I'll do it right now. So if you're watching right now, and you're desperate, you're like, that's me, I want more of God, I want the glory, or I wanna be desperate, I don't know how to be, just pray right now. You can close your eyes, lift your hands, and I just pray right now for those watching all over the world that are desperate for God, whether you're a believer or unbeliever, a Christian, Jewish, Muslim, atheist, European, African, doesn't matter what you are, or what you believe, I pray the desperateness for God and for His glory to come on you right now. In Jesus' name, I pray the presence, the kabod, the glory, the weightiness of God would come upon you in Yeshua's name, and the hunger would come. You would be so desperate and hungry for God, and that will start to attract the glory of God in your life right now in Jesus' name. Okay, Kathy Walters recently saw a vision that is for everyone. That means you. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Call now and get the Miracles in the Glory package, which contains a two-part audio CD teaching from each of Sid's three guests who have been forerunners in the glory realm, including David Herzog's Desperate for the Glory, Kathy Walters' The Glory Realm is Our Inheritance, and Julie Myers Activating the Glory. Six audio CDs exclusive for our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3136. Through this powerful Miracles in the Glory package, you will receive David Herzog's anointed Desperate for the Glory teaching. You will understand when the glory comes. David has observed supernatural weight loss, creative miracles, and abundance of healing, even hair supernaturally growing. Learn how you can become a carrier of the glory and see God demonstrate God's miracle working power in your life. You will also receive Kathy Walters' powerful teaching, The Glory Realm is Our Inheritance. You will learn how miracles, angelic, and heavenly visitations are supposed to be a normal part of your life. Learn how to tap into God's supernatural power to access the glory realm and walk moment by moment in the spirit realm. Plus, you will receive Julie Meyer's life-changing teaching, Activating the Glory. Through this teaching, you will hear the testimonies of people who have experienced miracles from singing the scriptures. Enter into a place of supernatural peace and joy like never before. Learn four supernatural keys to help activate the glory of God in your life. Through this one-of-a-kind Miracles in the Glory package, you will begin to walk in intimacy with God like never before. Watch your God-given destiny accelerate faster. Understand how to pray in the glory and see prayers answered because there is no time or distance in the glory realm. Learn how to make decrees and declarations in the glory realm and experience new authority and victory. These audio CDs contain anointed prayers of impartation for you to obtain all of God's blessings and promises for your life so you can come out of the ordinary and step into the extraordinary. 
Don't miss out on getting the Miracles in the Glory Package, which contains a two-part audio CD teaching from each of Sid's three guests who have been forerunners in the glory realm, including David Herzog's Desperate for the Glory, Kathy Walter's The Glory Realm is Our Inheritance, and Julie Myers' Activating the Glory, six audio CDs exclusive for our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3136. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 3136 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Kathy, you were uh, doing some special recording for us a few weeks ago, and uh, God spoke to you. Uh, uh, what did he show you? Glory is, is for everybody. It's not, it's not going to be just a few people on the platform, but the whole body, everybody, is going to be operating in the glory realm, in the supernatural realm with the angels. What I'm hearing you say, people that are just spectators yes. will start praying no for friends and miracles uh, of the magnitude you see on television yeah. will be happening to your next door neighbor. So let me tell you about my friend Kathy. She doesn't look it, but she, she, she ran off away from a nice Jewish guy in England. David uh, wanted to marry her. She runs off to Australia, gets involved with the mafia. I mean, you know, if she does it, she does it all the way. Uh, she gets involved with the mafia uh, and then get, get, has a radical encounter with God. And now she's going to get killed because she's going to leave the mafia. But somehow she gets out. Out. She marries David, and she bumps into, I mean, I think this is fabulous, a real move of God's Spirit. What happened? Well, we were in our very theological uh, church back up when I was, came back. That's where we were. And we were theologized up to here. <laughs> <laughs> but suddenly someone showed up that was filled with the Holy Spirit, and suddenly we ran smack into the glory of God. We knew, we knew nothing. I mean, we started to have meetings. We didn't know how to have a meeting. Um, everybody got filled with the Holy Spirit. People were coming for miles from all over. We didn't know what to do with them. Somebody said, you should pray for them. And we said, well, what should we pray? And they said, pray for them to prophesy. And we said, well, what's that? <laughs> so anyway, we came into um, this tremendous move of the glory of God. Why it was so awesome, I believe, is because God used everybody. And you said that you... It took a while sitting in the glory, but you lost your religious mindset. Yeah, God, Explain well, yeah. that. Well, God, see, I mean, we were full of theology, and God washed our minds probably for three years. We probably laughed for three years, actually. He just washed our minds. Now, by the way, uh, yeah. natural medicine tells you that if you have cancer, if you see comedy shows and laugh, it releases something in your body that heals. But uh, they could have just looked at God's Word, which says a merry heart is good medicine. Yeah. But I think also the laughter, it's not just because it's good for you, but the laughter actually is a warfare weapon. Because God looks at his enemies and, and what happens when the laughter comes is your spirit begins to pick up on a victory that's happening in the spirit realm mm. And then the laughter comes well, and brings, brings it. Sometimes the angels play with you, you know, they mm -hmm. push you around a little bit to make you lighten up. They want you to lighten up because heavy is not, uh, the Holy Spirit's not heavy. If you want to live and be in the spirit realm, you, you don't, you want to lose the heaviness. Because if it's heavy, it's, if it's heavy, it means it's you. <laughs> it actually says, my, uh, my, um, Yoke is easy, my burden is light and delightful. It actually says light and delightful if you read it in the Greek. So his, his burden is, yoke is easy, his burden is light and delightful because he puts his desires in your heart. The religious spirit always makes you try and do something God's already done. Hmm. He tries to make you earn something Jesus already paid for. He already paid for everything. But the religious spirit always tries to make you try and qualify but he's already done it. He already paid everything. There's nothing you can ask or think of that he hasn't already paid for. What we have to do is receive it, embrace it, and believe it. 
That's it. You know what? As you're speaking right now, Kathy, yeah. God is telling me that there are people that have pain in their fingers. And if you will uh, move your fingers, you'll see that that pain is all gone. And uh, Julie Meyer has been ushering people into the glory of God for decades. Wait until you hear what God showed her about this particular program. She also has the best revelation I have ever heard for walking in God's glory. And I'm going to tell you that one, she has a number, but that one is going to change your life. Be right back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. The supernatural knows no bounds. And now there are no limits to equipping you to receive your supernatural breakthrough anytime, any place. ISN, the It's Supernatural online network offers live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right on your mobile devices or smart TVs. I love that I can watch my favorite shows anytime I want. My workouts are out of the box, and so are my ISN podcasts. Download the free ISN app today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Well, I'm here with Julie Meyer. And uh, Julie, God spoke to you about this program. What did he tell you? I'll sing it. There's an open heaven. There's no ceiling. Angels ascending, descending again. There's an open heaven. That's what he said. <laughs> well, I like that. Um, Tell me, you're, you're a dreamer, mm -hmm. and uh, you had a dream about angels of revival. Mm -hmm. That interests me. What did you see? Yeah, I had a dream, and in this dream, I was told by the Lord to call forth the angels of revival. And I was told to call them forth three times. And so uh, in the dream, I just, I did, I said, I call forth the angels of revival. And I could see these great angels. It's like they were sleeping, like in the Swiss Alps. I mean, they were sleeping and they got up and suddenly the dream shifted. And I was with James Gall and he looked heavenly. And this host of heaven was with him. In fact, he looked so heavenly that in the dream I said, are you here or do you live there now? <laughs> and in the dream he was so James and he goes, no, I'm not there. And he goes, I didn't go up, but he goes, heaven's coming down. And when I'm, when, amen, but when he, when he said down, it just reverberated. I mean, it just blasted. And this host of heaven, this host of heaven, this heavenly choir uh, came down just to invade the earth. And I believe that we are on the very, very brink of the greatest revival the earth has ever seen. I believe Me that. Too. Me too. I do. Me too. Uh, Bill, and you know Bill what? I believe, as Julie believes, it's strictly the mercy of yeah. God because I've read Revelation. I know what's coming in the future, and God does not want one person right. to not know Him. You know, a lot of people say, well, prayer, that's for some of you people at IHOP. It's not for me. Why is prayer so important? Prayer is important for everyone, and we see it in Revelations 5, 8, where the living creatures and the... Um, uh, the elders, they're holding a harp and a bull. And, and the harp is worship, but the bull is the prayers of the saints, meaning Sid, your voice is there because prayers don't die, bodies do. We can change the earth by praying. They ascend, John wrote it, they're in the bull. Your, our voices are there along with John Wesley and, and George Whitfield, and because prayers never die. They're before the Lord continually. You were given by God four very special keys that you were supposed to release on this show. 
the key was to keep walking. It was um, Psalms 84. If you're in the Valley of Becca, don't stop. Stay steady. Keep walking. Number two, Philippians. It was forgetting what lies behind. It was delete. Just press forward. Forget what lies behind. And number three was Matthew 25. It's time to get oil. And that's just talking to him, having a singing to him, sing the word, just keeping that relationship open with the Lord, having conversation with the Holy Spirit. The fourth one was singing the word. I'm not a singer. What about, can, can someone sing that's not a Absolutely. singer? Absolutely. We need to break that ceiling that singing is only for worshipers and singers. When you sing, that your brain actually functions as one. The different lobes are working together and you're activating parts of your brain that you've never, ever used before. Therefore, bankers need to sing the Bible. Entrepreneurs need to sing because it expands places in your brain you've actually not used. And I think how creative, is of, how creative is this of God? Because King David, it is said that he went to battle, went to war with a sword in his hand and a song on his lips. He sang his way to freedom and victory. Now, you actually in your own life, and you've found many others that have understood what you teach and start doing and get the same results. You had a creative miracle. I, Tell me that. I didn't have an up, this upper door. I had extreme acid reflux. I had all this yucky gird in my Sounds stomach. Awful. Blah, it's awful. And, and actually I had two scopes in Kansas City. You know, I didn't have this. You know, you have to stay on this medicine for the rest of your life. I get to Santa Maria. I sit in the healing rooms. I pray in the house of prayer. I sing over other people the Bible. I go in for my scope a year ago and I have my paperwork. And the doctor came back and he goes, you're fine. And I go, well, wait a minute. I go, but I don't have a door. And he goes, no, you do. You have one. You have one. And he said, go off your medicine. And I said, but do I, is my stomach? He goes, your stomach is fine. And he goes, your body is healing itself. And I said, no, Jesus is healing, but it's the power. Amen. It's the power of singing the Bible. It's not just about singing. It's what are we singing? The word, the word heals. Okay. Yeah. He, he sent his word yes. and healed them. Well, Julie, again, that's you. But you tell me when you teach this, this is happening to others. It's happening to others. A woman got a hold of me because she said I started singing the word. Uh, I always say sing psalms because they're already sung. She started singing the word and she was suicidal. And she said it broke off. And she said, this is what I've been waiting for. Okay. It's a natural healing. I'm going to tell you what, Julie. I am going to release you right now to sing the word. I want you to show us what we can be doing at home. I'm, but now, more important than that, I want you to do what God's telling you to do. Go for it, Julie. So, right now, all I'm doing is I have Psalms 103 opened in my Bible. And I'm just simply making up a melody to it. And this is how we praise the Lord. This is how we get free and healed. And I praise the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me bless his holy, holy, holy name. And I bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me. Benefits, all that you've done, all that you've did for me, God, because you forgive all my sin and you heal everything. You What you 
Sid Roth has heard from a number of prophets that there is soon coming a major outpouring of God's glory, which will usher in the greatest revival in history. When the glory comes, there will be a manifestation of healings, miracles, and breakthroughs in an unprecedented way. Are you ready to walk in the glory atmosphere of God? Here is how you can. Call now and get the Miracles in the Glory package, which contains a two-part audio CD teaching from each of Sid's three guests who have been forerunners in the glory realm, including David Herzog's Desperate for the Glory, Kathy Walters' The Glory Realm is Our Inheritance, and Julie Myers' Activating the Glory. Six audio CDs exclusive for our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3136. Through this powerful Miracles in the Glory package, you will receive David Herzog's anointed Desperate for the Glory teaching. You will learn how a desperation for more of God will propel you into glory encounters like David himself has experienced. Understand when the glory comes, David has observed supernatural weight loss, creative miracles, and abundance of healing, even hair supernaturally growing. Learn how you can become a carrier of the glory and see God demonstrate God's miracle working power in your life. You will also receive Kathy Walters' powerful teaching, The Glory Realm is Our Inheritance. You will learn how miracles, angelic, and heavenly visitations are supposed to be a normal part of your life. Learn how to tap into God's supernatural power to access the glory realm and walk moment by moment in the spirit realm. Plus, you will receive Julie Meyer's life-changing teaching, Activating the Glory. Julie has led people into the glory of God through her prophetic worship for many years. Through this teaching, you will hear the testimonies of people who have experienced miracles from singing the scriptures. Enter into a place of supernatural peace and joy like never before. Learn four supernatural keys to help activate the glory of God in your life. Through this one-of-a-kind Miracles in the Glory package, you will begin to walk in intimacy with God like never before. Watch your God-given destiny accelerate faster as prophetic words which were given for the distant future will begin to awaken and manifest. Understand how to pray in the glory and see prayers answered because there is no time or distance in the glory realm. Learn how to make decrees and declarations in the glory realm and experience new authority and victory. Begin to experience God-given dreams and visions like never before. These audio CDs contain anointed prayers of impartation for you to obtain all of God's blessings and promises for your life so you can come out of the ordinary and step into the extraordinary. Don't miss out on getting the Miracles in the Glory package, which contains a two-part audio CD teaching from each of Sid's three guests who have been forerunners in the glory realm, including David Herzog's Desperate for the Glory, Kathy Walters' The Glory Realm is Our Inheritance, and Julie Myers' Activating the Glory, six audio CDs exclusive for our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3136. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 3136 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. Hello, I'm Eddie James inviting you to join me right here on It's Supernatural with Sid Roth. I'll be sharing music from my brand new music project and also teaching you how to encounter Jesus. When you encounter Jesus, you will experience breakthrough in your life. Join us.